Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is February 2nd of 2017. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Echo, what is the weather? Right now in Fort Worth, it's 47 degrees with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has lots of clouds with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 33 degrees. Okay, I hope I can keep from saying that word so we don't get interrupted. I'm running Windows 10, and uh, I signed up for the Windows Insider releases. And I think it was yesterday. It took hours to, for this new one to install. I should have timed how long it took. But uh, if you go to my blog or just do a search you can do a search on Google for Windows 10 insider you know program or you can come to my blog and it talks about they've made some made some improvements to uh, Cortana quite a few improvements to Cortana and some other improvements uh, I think even they say that uh, this is this doll install has some problems won't even install on some uh, computers that uh, for gaming or whatever so don't don't be doing Windows 10 I mean and unless you've got an extra computer I, I don't recommend you doing it I haven't tried to play any games since I installed and I only play uh, Windows or uh, let's see Civilization 5 or something so anyway uh, oh they, they made some improvements too to the browser or to their browser Edge and I haven't had a, a chance to fully check it out but they're getting closer and closer and Edge has a few things that I could really use but I still can't go, I can't, uh, right now I'm using Firefox. I, I was a big user in the past, as you may know, of Chrome. But Chrome has all these, you know, I'm running, if I'm running Chrome, and then I go and look at what's going on, that would be 10 or 15 Chrome things running. Uh, I don't know, so I have I've stopped running Chrome a few weeks ago or a few months ago, and Edge is not not going to work for me right now. Uh, it just doesn't have what I need, what I want. So, but there is Opera Neon. And I guess this is, uh, what if this were the future of the web browsing? Get a glimpse into what Opera for computers could become. And so I'm going to download it. Uh, you're almost there. Okay, save the file. Okay, let's see if it's downloaded already. It appears to be downloaded already. I think, so I'm going to click. Okay. Options, I better check to see that it's not going to change my use current computer. Okay, that's all, so. Accept and install. By the way, see the place on top of my head? You know, if you, you may have been watching for the last year or so, you've noticed I wear a hat a lot because that looks pretty gross. Went to the doctor yesterday to see about having this. Well, I can't see now. This looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Huh. Let's put, let's see, no, BBS. 1982.com uh, 
I'm going to leave full screen here. Well, I guess I went into full screen, so. Okay, I have to see if I can resize this. Uh, come on. Size. Minimize. Well, I don't want to spend too much time uh, messing with it. So, oh, I went to, do I show this? Here I do, yes, okay. Went to the doctor yesterday <coughs> for my regular checkup. Every six, seven, eight months or something I go. I've got uh, arthritis, I've got uh, type 2 diabetes, I've got a pacemaker in me, or whatever. So, let me pull this over here. Let me close this. Oh, wait a minute, we can. This is Opera Neon, and this is a one minute. Um, you love my long long videos so I'm gonna to try to make them shorter so this is gonna be an attempt to make a uh, went to the doctor yesterday to see about having this thing on my shoulder removed and I told him I said uh, I want to make sure I said I want to make sure I've had this thing on my head a uh, little red spot on my head that uh, scabs over and been there for a year. It just keeps, it never heals. I said, I don't want that. And he said, uh, no, you know, we would, uh, you know, just cut this off. And I forget what all he said he'd do to this, this thing. And he said, let me look at your head. And immediately, you know, he, he immediately looked at it and he said, uh, cancer and he said it so fast and so without any and I, I thought he was joking and I I forget what I came back with I tried to come back with I always try to come back with something funny sometimes uh, inappropriate or sometimes not funny but uh, that then he went you know right on and said yeah you know uh, when come back schedule appointment for this removal I'll do a biopsy of that, and he said, "I, I, it's, uh, it's cancer. I'm sure of." And I'll do a biopsy. We'll send that off, and then, uh, and I forget what he said. The surgeon would then uh, go in and remove it, go down as deep as necessary, go out around as as far as necessary. And he said, "Since at the top of your head, there's very little skin there." may have to do a skin graft so by the way and I, I thought that, talk about trying to be funny see uh, oops come on here oh uh, don't want to run over here too much what was I going oh
Windows 10 Insider release. Uh, doctor's office visit. And I, I put this as the post on my my blog. You know, I talk about that I went and uh, whatever. And I put uh, for you all. I put uh, now. I know what you're thinking about uh, the photo above. No, I did not ask for a breast reduction. And then I put, I paid a lot of money to get these breasts. I didn't put LOL or ha ha or anything like that. So Very few people go to my blog anymore. It's just really... BBS was in the old days, 1982 on, BBS was very popular. And then I moved it to the internet, and the internet, or the World Wide Web, moved it to the World Wide Web, 1995. And the World Wide Web just killed bulletin board systems. I know there are a few out there, but just killed bulletin board systems. Then, uh, Facebook came along and it pretty much kills. I mean, if you have a really, if you're really good, it'll be difficult for you to get started, but if, if you're a really good blogger, if you have things to say or to show, I mean, really interesting and, and uh, have a niche, uh, but if you're like me and you just blog about whatever interests you right at that time or something like that, even if you're funny like I think I am, uh, Facebook has killed us. Anyway, uh, what else is going on around here? I don't know. Maybe you didn't watch my other. My ex-wife and my son will be moving into this apartment. So uh, we will be sharing the cost. And that's going to give all of us extra money because right now both of us are everything we take in just pays for the apartment you know and food and whatever I know you see me spending a lot of money on uh, computer stuff and yes I do but it's um, I don't make a, I don't get enough in each month to to do that unless I get the uh, extra money from like PayPal or Google or unless I sell something that I uh, that I have I uh, by the way if you can please click on my Amazon link I get a commission from Amazon which is working out like 20 bucks a month but if if you're gonna buy because you don't have to buy <clears throat> you just click on that click on it you don't have to buy music unlimited you don't have to buy and you know once you're here then you can just go uh, someplace and uh, buy something buy anything, buy a uh, Panasonic DMC G7 or a uh, G7KK or a Chrome touch screen laptop, anything, buy, buy a big screen TV, I will get a commission, it doesn't cost you, uh, doesn't cost you anything. So if you could, that would be a uh, that would be a big help. Man, that is gross. That is gross. Uh, so anyway, my ex-wife and son will be. I live near an air base, and uh, reserve units fly out of their training all the time. I was never in the military. I've never been in a, well, I worked in <laughs> in inner city areas that were like war zones. That's, I know that's not accurate. 
you know, nothing. But uh, never was in the military. I can't imagine, you know, sometimes they come over so loud and you think, man, that is kind of scary. You know, they're really, really loud. Think, think what it'd be like to be, especially, a, well, anybody, but, you know, a child in Syria or Iraq or someplace and to have military aircraft coming in like, you know, that loud and you know that they are, you know, they're also come in and drop bombs or do stuff. It would be because, you know, I just live here in this nice little apartment close to and reserve air base it's also a naval reserve base also and that's when I went to high school I went to a military high school Catholic military high school uh, and we each had 500 going to the school we each had our own you know it was a ROTC on steroids called a 55C school that was the federal law statute or classification or whatever that talked about uh, 55 which you know so we did military every day we were in uniform every day on Friday half of the entire day was military uh, a parade full dress parade and a whole bit but we each had an M1 assigned to us and a, a friend of mine uh, both of us wanted to go into, he wanted to go in the Marine Corps, and he did. And uh, I wanted to go in the Army, and they didn't want me. They rejected me. Uh, but we'd walk home sometimes, and we'd talk about, you know, when the Russians, when the USSR attacks, you know. Now remember, we were in Kansas City, Missouri, the heart of America, right in the center of the United States. And, you know, we. Uh, when they attack, you know, they would, the school would undoubtedly give us the firing pin for the M1. And then, you know, well, we'd, I, I, we could get up in that tower, right? There. We could be in that building over there. And then when the Russians come, you know, we would just, uh, shoot, you know. <laughs> oh man, no idea of what really, even though we watched the movies, you know. No, I, well, they didn't have, uh, realistic, you know, we had John Wayne movies and stuff like that where he's holding a 50 caliber machine gun, you know, and shooting it as a bayonet in his mouth, you know, so he, and he's the last one on the island fighting the Japanese, you know, but you don't see him die. You know he's going to die, but they're coming, you know, but you don't see him go down. Anyway, uh, the school took us out to a reserve, Army Record Center actually, and uh, Belmont and St. John, I believe, because our, uh, I belonged to the Ground Observer Corps and we had on the roof our post where we went up when we watched for enemy aircraft in the center. By the time we report, you know, uh, we had a phone there and we reported every aircraft that we saw. So, you know, pick up the phone and dial operator and say, aircraft flash. And they connected us to the, you know, Air Defense Command. We took priority. If they had to un unplug somebody, they unplugged us. But anyway, back to my story with, you know, oh, anyway, they took this school took us out to this uh, Army Record Center. They had reserve units out there and such. So they put us, they didn't take all 500 of us. Like, I don't know whether they took a platoon or not sure don't even think it was company size so we're out there and then they have tanks we, we don't see any tanks but then up over the hill comes well with one tank comes a tank full speed heading for us to, to let us give us an idea of what it would be like to just be there and facing one tank and uh I didn't crap my pants or anything, but uh, yeah, 
So, thank you very much for watching. No, that's not it. Here it is. That's it. Stop. Only 20 minutes. <laughs>